R9 390X I bought off of eBay just arrived. Let's go ahead and open up and see how it fared in shipping. It seems to have been packaged pretty well, although it looks like whoever shipped it uh, kind of tried to weigh on it a bit. So, without further ado, let's take my trusty knife here, carefully cut into it because I would rather not slit my brand new used graphics card. And open her all up. Now it looks like we've got some bubble wrap around it. That's a good sign. Should have protected it nicely. Now the one thing, oh, that could be awkward. It doesn't look like the person I bought it from used an ESD bag. So an ESD bag protects against electrostatic discharge, which can be built up by the graphics card running against other things. That being said, it looks like it at least physically is fine, and it looks like quite a nice card. I got it for just under $100, about the same price as my RX 580, and I think the RX 580 is slightly faster when it comes to raw compute, but this is 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I made it as GDDR5, so that should be a bit slower. I'm really interested to see how this will perform compared to my RX 580. So I'm going to go ahead and install my rig. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed my rig, unplugged everything from the back as you can see, and so we're ready to go ahead and upgrade the graphics card. Now the first step, I already mentioned this, but you know we're just going over again, unplug everything. You do not want your computer connected to power while you are changing core components bad things can happen. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and remove all the cables that are preventing us from getting to the graphics card. As you can tell, I did an awful job cable managing this. So I have to unplug my CPU as well as my GPU. Now that we've got those cables unplugged, let's go ahead and remove this screw to get access to the G to free the GPU. Okay, now there's a little PCIe lock, which you can see on this slot, right behind the graphics card. Go ahead and reach behind it and push it down to free the GPU. Then just slide it on out and you're good to go. Now, as you can tell from this inspection, this card is a whole lot longer than the other one. It's not as tall, but that's going to make fitting it in here pretty interesting. So let's see if we can uh, finagle it on in. Okay, once you have it lined up, just push it in, and you should feel it click into place. There we go. Now let's take this screw and put it in to help prevent GPU sag. The next step is going ahead and reconnecting the cables. Let's start with the GPU ones. This card requires two 8 pins. But I've got this separate set of eight, this separate eight pin splitting off of that one. I think on some higher power draw cards, you technically probably don't want to do that, but you shouldn't have to worry about that unless you're doing extreme overclocking. Let's get the CPU plugged in again, and we should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and take this rig back to my setup and make sure it posts. Okay, here we go. And we've got a post. The graphics card is confirmed working. Mm -hmm. 